We're on air bike update number three. We're gonna be looking at the, I believe, com fully completed um, tail control surfaces and fins. Um, so, uh, at the tail fin, the we have the vertical stabilizer, what it's called, um, and then the elevator is what to leave on. I don't know, and the rudder here, um, and at all, and also you might notice. And all painted. These ones I did help with the covering. So there's that. The, the covering parts are for everything. It's kind of a two person job. It's really quite hard to do. Uh, it's one person. Um, so, you know, whenever help is needed, my dad gets me to help him out. Um, and then, so, but we have these. I think these are for to like keep it stable, balances. Uh, here's the cording in here, and it all works. And this is what he's working on right now, hooking up the fuel tank. I think that's all on. This is the parachute. That might be on, too. And this is a parachute for the whole airplane, not just the, um, you know, the pilot. Like, the engine fails, and the engine will be up front. And I think that's what's, what's coming next. The engine's coming on, like, Wednesday. That, the engine's up here. That fails. Then... This thing is pulled, but then like compressed air shoots out like a big parachute and that helps the plane come down. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you guys the control surfaces in action. Uh, so I'll just display first, not in the seat, but here's the control stick. So side to side, that controls the rudder. So if I look at it it's straight now, if I were to say, no, sorry, not side to side. And this is a control the rudder, my fault, my fault. The pedals control the rudder. These control the elevators. So, um, if I pull it forward, it'll have gone down. If I pull it up, it goes up. Um, but, uh, and then, of course, the ailerons, they aren't hooked up yet because the wings aren't on yet. But these parts will connect to the ailerons. And so, I'll show you what that looks like right, as it is right now. Um, and yeah, the spring right here, one, it keeps it stable and it makes it kind of naturally go back to that position, uh, but also kind of gives you more of a mechanical advantage, it makes it much easier because it's about like three times heavier to move the thing uh, with the stick if you don't have the, that spring, I noticed. Um, now, whoop chair isn't on there really tight. Right now it's lifted just to, just for building it, but this of course will be all lower on the ground. We have it propped up with a sawhorse. Saw Let's get on this thing. Um, it's really perfect uh, fitting for me because I was the one who uh, kind of, I don't know, what do you call it? calibrated stuff the um the positions so it moves forward back the pedals and let's look at that say so i have this one forward then the red is pointing that well other way same thing the stick right so going up Climbing, descending. Um, well, you know this. And these are the, like the uh, horizontal turn. That's what do they call that. They call that yaw, I believe. Yeah, so planes. This is the plane. Turn side to side. Of course, this thing controls it going up and down. Um, I mean, the main turning though you're going to be doing this. Is, the, this, uh, this, the uh, pedal turning, isn't uh, like the primary way you turn the plane. Usually you're gonna use the ailerons and kind of turn the whole plane. Like rotate it, and roll, pull out to turn. Much faster turn. Um, but th these are also for getting on the runway too, because the uh, wheel is hooked up to it. I'll show you this. Push this guy forward. Keep it forward for a second. <clears throat> Let's 
see our wheel is turned as well. But there, and it's, all, it's all connected. Uh, but there you go. Next update will be on the engine. And I think we'll be pretty close to done. I say pretty close. I mean, we are about six months or less, I'd say, away from completion. Uh, this whole part went much faster than we expected. But yeah, it's really, it's really coming, coming together. Um, yeah, it's cool. There you go. Here's the wheels. Um, yeah. It's all painted and nice. Let's have the welds. I don't know if I was, if I did, no, I haven't talked about this. We had to get all the welds redone. Um, at a better welding shop. But now it's really good because those the welds the guy did weren't the greatest. But now they're they're a lot better. Um right more aesthetically pleasing, that's not the main thing. Maybe it's about like how it is inside. The if the weld connections are good, they're really good now. They used to not only be, you know, ugly, but they used to also be um like not strong welds. But yeah, there you go. It's really cool. Okay, there you go.